What is up guys, Captain Jack Spirit here. Welcome back to the channel. This episode is gonna be a little bit different. We're actually gonna be diving in a different country. We're gonna be diving in South America in the country of Ecuador. This is going to be my first time diving anywhere besides Florida or the Bahamas, so I hope you enjoy. All right, we're walking down the terminal, going to uh, Ecuador, Devin, packing light. Got some pins. Excited. All right, so Devin and I just got to the hostel. Uh, it's not too bad. We at least have AC. Uh, got yelled at by a couple of hookers on the side of the road. Actually, a lot of hookers. Um, but yeah, we're. It's about. It's about one o'clock. Uh, their time here, and we're gonna wake up probably in about four to five hours, and head over to Manta, which is about a three-hour drive. So we got a little drive in the morning, but. We'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So we're about 10 minutes out. We've been driving for about three hours. Uh, we're almost to Manta. Um, super pumped about going. Uh, Devin's gonna be there with us and uh, hopefully we get something when we're out there. All right, so we're, we get made it to Manta. Devin's excited, she got to sleep a little bit. <laughs> so we just got here, we got Gustavo over here, and his boy John Pierre, Devin. Gonna head off. So when I first hopped in the water, I noticed that the visibility really wasn't that great, but it was my first time diving in a foreign country, so I really had no expectations. Being that it was my first time diving in a foreign country, I decided to follow Gustavo down in order to kind of see how he hunts. While he was down there, he was doing a lot of grunting to kind of attract any fish in the area. After grunting for a while, we started to ascend, and on our way up, a big, big Spanish mackerel came swimming by, and luckily Gustavo was able to get a shot off. As he was fighting the fish, I ended up making a dive to try to put a backup shot in, and unfortunately, I was using a new gun, and it was a little more underpowered than I thought it was going to be, and unfortunately, I ended up missing. And then shortly after, the fish ended up tearing off.
As we were diving, I noticed a lot of sea life, a bunch of different creatures that I haven't really seen before, and also the structure and the terrain was a little bit different. It was a little more rocky instead of reefy. As we were diving, I heard Gustavo shoot. I went to see what he got, and he actually ended up shooting a broom-tailed grouper. When he came up to the surface, he told me to dive down because he said there was a couple more down there. Unfortunately, as I went down, the bottom was kind of kicked up and it, the mud kind of made everything a little bit murky and unfortunately I couldn't see anything down there. The next place we went to was an island. I'm not sure exactly where it was, but we ended up going. of sea life and the structure there was just beautiful. <laughs> Towards the end of my first dive, I saw a couple of fish that I think I could have shot, but I wasn't sure of the species and I ended up taking a pass on it. At the end of my last dive, a big school of rainbow runners came in and same thing, not used to the gun, shot, and I shot high and unfortunately I missed that one too. in a big rainbow runner. On our next drift, Gustavo ended up shooting a pretty nice size snapper. I'm not sure the type it was, but it was a very unique snapper that I've never really seen before, which I thought was pretty cool. I ended up taking a dive on what they call over there a yellow tail snapper. It kind of looks like a schoolmaster. When I reached out and shot at the yellow tail, unfortunately, same thing, I shot, I missed a little high, at least I hit him, but unfortunately he ended up tearing off. Ooh. <laughs> On my last drift, thankfully a school of jacks came in and I ended up getting a shot and landing one of them.
Our coolers seem to be pretty full. We had about four fish in there, so we decided to kind of head in and maybe try a couple spots on our way in. On our way in, we decided to stop at Gustavo's Snook Spots. Uh, over there, it's legal to shoot snook, so I thought it'd be a cool opportunity to get a chance to shoot one. Once we hopped in the water, we kind of had a feeling the visibility wasn't going to be that good, and of course, we were right. As we went down, it, you could barely see the tip of your spear gun, but as you could see, it was not suitable diving conditions. All in all, it was a pretty cool trip. Uh, got a chance to dive a different area, got to see different sea life. Uh, I highly recommend trying to dive in a different country, possibly get in touch with a local like I did and get a chance to go out and do some diving with them. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please tune in next time. Also hit that subscribe button if you like it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. Also hit that notification bell and I hope to see you guys next time. See you later.